Fuck. I hate that I have to speak out, but I had to speak out. Krishan Rock is a fucking genius. I'm not going to take that from her. I'm going to tell you why she's a genius. Because she's, she's, she knows how to manipulate. So she manipulated me to thinking that she was all about me because she was out of desperation, right? So that's why when she got into a position, she kind of tried to discredit everything I did, right? Granted, all right? Because I was confused. I'm like, damn, you used to say so much great things about me now. I'm responsible for everything but your success. I'm responsible for verbal abuse, financial abuse, this, that. But when it comes to your success, I have nothing to do with it. Okay, that's strange. But the pregnancy is what... The pregnancy is what really made me realize because I have two kids. I've been into labor rooms. When someone is in labor, it's cool. It's, it's out of the blue. No female is planning to go in labor, right? I have two kids. I know this. You can't tell me otherwise. Krishan planned her labor. She didn't coincidentally go to Baltimore and her water broke and she just went somewhere and had the baby. You know how I know this? Because certain hospitals don't let you film because of their own rules and, you know, whatever they got going on. Krishan went to a place prior when she was on baddies in Baltimore. She found a place prior that she could record this birth at. So, stay with me. It's all attention based. Krishan has done everything up to this far for attention. She's manipulating all of us. And the only reason I'm now waking up and realizing it because I have kids, so I know how this situation goes. So now that two and two don't aren't going together, it makes sense. Right? Krishan flew to Baltimore with a hospital that she already knew she could film at. She flew there medically induced. She let us know before the baby was coming that it was coming. Four weeks before the due date. Right? So if your due date is September 23rd, why are you letting us know that the baby is coming a week? A week before September. You letting us know in August. How do you know that? This is your first child. You're inexperienced. Okay. I get it. Another thing. See, if she knows that it's gonna be a big, a big deal. For example, why do you think before Krishan goes live and she cries and says that I'm a terrible guy, her makeup's done, her jewelry's on, her nails are done, everything is pre-planned. That's the genius part about it. Her fame, her claim to fame is sympathy. And who's gonna deny that? If it's evident, if it's in her face, right? That's the manipulation. So now I'm like, damn, I didn't let this bitch get me. Man, I'm disappointed in myself. Okay, man, so that is Blueface talking about Christian Rock, right? He basically said that uh, Christian Rock manipulated him and uh, did all that crazy stuff, right? For a nice team. Listen up, man. I'm gonna tell you all this, right? I'm gonna tell you all this. If you're a man out there and you don't wanna end up like Blueface coming on social media after being at a club with his other baby mama, right and christian rock was live on instagram uh showing us how she was giving birth and stuff like that and this man finished off flexing and you know clubbing coming back on social media to tell us that oh christian rock finessed me uh she did this she left the city and went to another city so that she can go live on social media and stuff if you don't want to end up like this ninja man listen up you better, you better stick with one woman, right? Stick with one woman, bro. 
right? It was hard for you to handle two women. Because, listen up, when you have more than one woman, there is enough problem. You feel me? There is enough problem because this one wants your attention, the other one wants your attention in different ways. There is no way you can cook it up. Christian Rock is feeling the, the, the emotional neglect from you because you are giving all the attention to the other woman right now because we remember the time you were flexing with Christian Rock. You know, you guys was together, all that stuff until she got pregnant. And another thing I want to state out, bro, listen up. Your relationship with, with Christian Rock was not meant to be, right? All that cloud chasing, being on social media, you know, kind of showing the whole world how your relationship is and stuff like that. Not keeping secrets, right? That's what got you guys where you guys are at this moment. And be ready for that child support, bro, because right now she did what she did because women are, you know, loyal to their emotions. She's going to act the way she feels. And right now, that's what she's doing. So if you don't like that, bro, you better don't complain. You're going you're gonna to end up, you know, finishing what you started. Because at this point, man, nobody's going to help you. For real, man. Christian Rock is going to come back so hard on you that you keep wondering, was this the same woman that, you know, I once loved? once made love with and stuff like that so it's too late for you to complain uh you don't want to tell us the the time or the moment you were out there clubbing and flexing with your other baby mama that you didn't see christian rock on social media you don't see all that trending stuff and you just woke up and suddenly you realize that this woman manipulated you finessed you and stuff like that man i, I don't want to hear all that bro I don't want to hear all that. That's a big L for you. That's a big L for you at this moment, right? I think you should come out to congratulate her for having your baby and, and be a man, bro. Like, you know, you already cooked it up. You're going to eat it. That's all, man. She's more smarter than you. She's more wiser than you. She's more violent than you. You know, all that stuff. You know, she's all that for you, man. For real. Trust me. And you got trapped right now you're out here complaining when you should be a real man right because if you were there for her when she's pregnant and all that stuff you know when the pregnancy was getting to nine months i think you should be there for her right be there for her always like trying to make sure that she's good i think you should have known her plans right but you weren't there right you weren't there oh i don't know what the issue between you guys are but you weren't there for her so when she made her plan you weren't there because as, as a father as the one that actually kind of you know got her pregnant you should be there for her right so she felt the neglection she felt the um the attention wasn't coming so she did what she did and what do you expect you know what do you expect man she's a woman bro you know, she's a woman. What do you expect her to do? She did what she did. So, you better take it. That's your big L, bro. Right? Next time, stick with one woman. You know, stick with one woman. Maybe you can be able to handle that. But for you to for you to be out here complaining all that, all that stuff, bro, that is not the way it goes. I mean, for real, bro. You got to make sure that you stick with one woman so that next time you don't come online complaining. But you all tell me what you all think under the comment section, man. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you all get notified whenever I drop a new video. Catch you guys later.